Hey everybody, sorry if you hear the fan. Um, it's really hot in here, but this is a new machine I just made, uh, which is essentially going from tin to buckets to iron to refined iron. Now this right here is, this is short because this will eventually be going into a storing system like how that one is. Um, but my main problems were the overflow and I think the problem that I had is because it's right here if I put the overflow somewhere over here that chest that of course wouldn't retrieve from it so I think what I have here is fine I think it'll bounce back into there and then once that's full if these are full then it'll go up into here and then bounce back into there which is working for me so far um, three I mean they're they're slow you know these things are slow but then whenever this backs up I got a buffer chest up here which as you can see has a ton of them in it already so that way whenever this is finished that'll go through and I think I'll put a diamond chest up there because that's a lot uh, I know I'm trying to go fast I'm just trying to make this a short video so I can get it uploaded fast here um, that's on a two second pulse I can actually probably even shorten it um, because there's a lot of times that nothing's being retrieved here but um, yeah that's gonna be my little compact machine here and uh, I could make it a little bit better. My problem that I originally had was this right here. That was always turning on that, so it wasn't working. But other than that, that's all working. And let me go ahead and go over here real quick to my mass creation thing here. And basically, I will show you really quick how this will work here. Let's turn all this off. And get a full get a couple of different things here there we go get some UU in here real quick that way I can fire this up real quick and you can see how it will work here alright so let's go ahead and turn on this is the long pulse and the short pulse so this way there it's taking out that one to go into there and into there Let's see here so basically then I've got my copper going into there as you can see there's a copper or, or a copper dust coming out my tin going into there and you can see that coming out you can see some glowstone going in here it's going to glowstone dust and you got some resin going into there and now you can see my end ones here starting to fill up so my lapis and my glass should be coming out here momentarily once this one back here pulses again oh that's where a whole lot of excess went I gotta find a way to re send that back over to there um, but this should be coming out got a whole stack of it in there let's go see why this isn't working here ah low on power there we go that one's using a lot of power <laughs> alright see if that'll work a little bit better here Lots of, there we go, there's some lapis going. Should be some glass coming here in a minute as well. There we go, there's redstone and lapis going. Okay, so they're all going. Um, and then, uh, basically, it's just all going on its own. And these are just buffer chests to hold whatever overflow there is. Uh, whenever there is overflow. But what I need to do because that pulse is going way too fast and you have a second pulse uh, for loading in that or I could just run a, another retriever out of here going back into there that way it'll just loop it and I think that's what I will do as a fail safe uh, so that way I'm, I'm not just doing there but I know it's really really fast I'm sorry but this is basically what it does it's a pretty simple system and I'm just trying to get this uploaded really fast uh, but as you can see, that was full. 
so it went up there and it went into here there's all the overflow and then that way whenever it needs it again it'll pull it out and then it just goes all the way underneath here into the sorting chest over here which there's copper, tin, uh, you got your glowstone, your rubber, your redstone, your lapis, and your glass. Glass isn't coming through for some reason. I don't know why. Let's take a look here. Glass isn't getting any UU, so let's get the UU in here. See if it'll pull out some glass now. Uh, next pulse. There it went. Okay. Now we got glass going too. So basically that's the whole the whole shebang here. And uh, I'm going to try to get this video uploaded really quick. And then whenever I get actually in my real world, I can go through here and place all this and have it all go the right way. But here's everything else going here and got quite a bit of refined iron going. This is a very slow process so this is probably one that I'll have running all the time uh, I'll just have to make sure I get supplied well with tin but as you can see I can even have something retrieving tin like every you know retrieve a stack of tin every geez, hour or so that way it'll go through here and you know run through pretty well so or just turn it on on its own whenever I need more so but anyway, that's it. I'm going to get this uploaded and edited, and I will be back.